What makes this signing for Blake Bortles to the Los Angeles Rams, what, what makes this a good signing for them? You know, uh, his first year with the Rams, 2017, I remember going to training camp uh, and watching Sean McVay work with the quarterbacks. And at the time, I thought that there was a chance that Jared Goff really might not be that good. Mm. Um, But I saw the time that he was investing every practice, every day with the quarterbacks. Dan Orlovsky was in camp. He ended up not making it. Um, Sean Mannion was there, the the Oregon State quarterback, and and Goff, and I'm sure there were one or two other guys. But, But... Sean McVay was coaching those guys like every day and, you know, like throughout most of practice. And it was just Sean McVay is going to is this is a perfect place. And I would say this if it were almost any quarterback, but especially for Blake Bortles, who has been damaged badly, um, who, who has had one really positive significant kind of extended blip on his radar. And that was <clears throat> sort of maybe in the last two months of the 2017 season, you know, where, uh, you know, if Stefan Gilmore doesn't make the great acrobatic play right. in breaking up that pass in the last couple of minutes of that game, uh, Bortles could have led them to the winning touchdown and, and a Super Bowl berth. And he never would have been cut. They probably would have signed a long term, <clears throat> but you know, to a contract that really meant something. But uh, I, I just think that he's going to get the most individual attention. Hey, it's like going to going to play football for Andy Reid right. or, or Sean Payton. You know, you go to one of those guys or Kyle Shanahan, you go to one of those guys and you fail, it is on you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.